Our latest sneak peek at an upcoming product is the Campaign Sea Line Supplement for Bolt Action 2nd Edition. This book deals with what might have happened had the Germans been able to invade the United Kingdom during World War II and includes a host of new units and rules. The book begins with an alternate history timeline beginning before World War II and including the tweaks made by the author to allow for the fictional invasion to take place. The invasion itself is then covered from prior to its first day right up to its conclusion. Moving on to the forces involved, the supplement begins with the dedicated British anti-invasion forces, with theatre selectors designed to reflect both platoon, company and patrol level actions. Sample force organisations details are included for every unit, from coastal defences to a variety of local defence volunteers. The new British units section adds a number of formations to the game, complete with the usual points values and optional choices. From the Royal Navy, 12 DV volunteer units, Home Guard, including the Legends of Warmington on Sea, the Auxiliary or Stay Behind Saboteur units, to tanks, armoured cars, armoured trains, pillboxes and more. Of course, no invasion can happen without invaders, so the German forces are outlined, including Fallschirmjäger power troopers, beach landing troops, and new forces for the game, such as the Brandenburgers. The rules even deal with the much-feared fifth column in the form of the traitorous British Union of Fascists, which appear in miniature form in the photographs. The special German invasion equipment covers a variety of different invasion barges, amphibious tanks and the DFS-230 assault glider, again adding these to the already available units for use in the game. There are a number of new special rules in this campaign book, which cover options from covert operations and disguised troops, up to longbows and roller skates. All focus on the type of actions that could be found during the invasion of Britain, but could also be adapted for use in other environments. The scenarios come in two formats, Battle and Patrol, intended for either platoon or patrol sized forces, so 30 plus down to 10 plus miniatures. They cover a range of different options from capturing a port to raiding British armouries and allow for regular British and German forces to slug it out or Home Guard members to find themselves under attack from BUF traitors. Each scenario offers a chance to earn campaign points with the intention that the side with the most points after playing through all 10 of the scenarios is the winner. Overall this is another high quality product, although perhaps an unusual subject, given that bolt action is known as being firmly based within the historical side of World War II. However, the world of What If is increasingly popular and the campaign book does address many of the supposed realities of what could have happened if the Germans had been able to invade the United Kingdom. This is a good campaign book for those who have been looking for a comprehensive way to explore the sea line concept on the tabletop using easy to play rules.